Mock, we're starting your 530 news half hour talking about education news as Lower Richland County community members are looking for answers today after district reassignment. News 19's Zoe Henry spoke with those community members who say they felt neglected in the decision making. I felt like that was a slap in the face for the whole community. In a district meeting on Tuesday, Richland 1 announced the reassignment of several faculty members, one of which was the principal at Lower Richland High School. Brandon Pearson is a Lower Richland High School alumni who says she was the best thing for the students. I have seen three principals change out. Excellent principals. But the thing is, when it's some people at a higher, at the board, if it's, I guess if they don't see what's going on, if they don't like what's going on, they just dismiss them. According to Patrick Kelly with the Palmetto Teachers Association, the decision to relocate personnel is up to the superintendent. The community has a say, but it's indirect in the sense that the community elects the school board, who in turn hires the superintendent. And under state law, superintendents of local school districts are empowered to assign employees. Aside from removing personnel, Farron Cunningham is a former teacher at Lower Richland High School, and he says there was a lack of information ahead of time. Information, I got some questions that I would like to know. Um, one is what is the justification? And and then also, you know, why did the community know before? Patrick Kelly says informing the public ahead of time is highly unlikely. I think that's going to vary by district, by superintendent, although typically districts aren't going to be terribly forthcoming with personnel information, um, unless it's, of course, something that has been a violation of law. Richland One issues a statement to News 19 saying personnel matters are confidential. Reassignments occur regularly based on the needs of the district. The most direct and meaningful input is through school board elections. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX.